Today, I'm super excited to chat about this amazing movie that's buzzing as a hot contender for the Best Picture Oscar. But guess what? There's a good chance you haven't even heard of it. So, let's dive into The Holdovers, a story that's surprisingly captivating and might just sneak up on you. Set in a New England prep school, The Holdovers introduces us to this grumpy instructor stuck babysitting a few kids over Christmas break. Sounds dull, right? But here's where it gets interesting. He ends up forming this unexpected bond with a troubled, smart student and the school's cook, who's grieving her son lost in Vietnam. Directed by the incredible Alexander Payne, this film is like a time machine straight to the 70s. It's not just set in that era, it feels like it was actually made then, locked away for decades, and we've just found this hidden gem. The characters, the story, it's got this old school vibe that's hard to find nowadays, and I'm totally here for it. The Holdovers did something amazing. It made me feel nostalgic for a time I wasn't even around for. There's something about the atmosphere, the details, the cast nailing that 70s groove so perfectly that made me wish I was chilling there during that winter break too. This movie captures something real and raw that's missing in a lot of today's films. It talks about life's disappointments, the confusion of not knowing where you're headed, and the loneliness when real connections and achievements seem far off. It's honest, it's relatable, and that's rare. Sure, plenty of movies get hyped up, but not all can stand shoulder to shoulder with the classics. The Holdovers, though, it's right up there with the greats. Like, it's a wonderful life, and it's gonna stay just as relevant and heartfelt for years. Now, it might take a bit to get into it, but once you do, it's beautiful. Alexander Payne, man, he's outdone himself this time. The Holdovers is easily my favorite from his work. His unique style is all over this, the quirky shots, the chill script, relatable characters, killer dialogues, gorgeous settings, and yes, the classic road trip vibe. It's like you're right there, living it with them, feeling every emotion, every laugh, every tear. It's more than just a student-teacher drama. It's a journey. And the characters, they're so real. Dominic Sessa's first acting gig is a knockout. His chemistry with Paul Giamatti, off the charts. Every character is flawed, different, but the way their bond grows, it's something special to watch. They all come together at crucial points in their lives, and it's just beautiful. The cinematography? Mind-blowing. Every outdoor scene is like a piece of art. The crispness, the setting, it's all spot on. And the cast, Paul Giamatti, Dominic Sessa, Davine Joy Randolph, they bring this whole hen house life vibe to life, but find joy along the way. It's a sweet, soft, absolutely delightful film. In a nutshell, The Holdovers, is a deep dive into the beauty of life and the impact one person can have. And to pull that off with just dialogues and performances? That takes serious skill. Alexander Payne's nailed it, making The Holdovers a film that's gonna stay in my heart forever. So, if you haven't checked it out yet, you're missing out on something special. Trust me, it's worth it. That's all for my thoughts. Let's talk about what others think about it. On Rotten Tomatoes, it has a 97% critic score and a 91% audience score. And reviews say, The Holdovers is a wonderful time capsule, a story out of time filled with lovable characters and Paul Giamatti at top of his game, as usual. The leading actors complement each other wonderfully as their characters find comfort in one another. There's agony, decency, and tenderness from a heart-rending Randolph, a believable redemption arc for the superb Scrooge-esque Giamatti. A beautiful movie that's required viewing of the season or any other time, Paul Giamatti deserves every accolade. The format may be unsurprising, but there is nothing unsurprising about just how good and enjoyable this is. This is the kind of bittersweet, character dialogue-driven piece they just don't do anymore. The Holdovers emerges as a testament to Payne's unique storytelling ability, offering a grown-up drama for intelligent audiences inviting a nuanced exploration of the complexities of human relationships against the backdrop of cruel, classist rigidity. While it's bound to become a new staple in the Christmas movie canon, the fact is, filmmaking is note-perfect and beautifully calibrated as this can be enjoyed any time of year. Thanks for watching and comment your thoughts on the movie. While it's bound to become a new staple in the Christmas movie canon, the fact is, filmmaking is note-perfect and beautifully calibrated as this can be enjoyed any time of year.